Hi everyone, welcome back to Six of Stones Wood Carving. Uh, I'm Kevin, and in today's video we're going to build upon the video that we had just recently put on about where you could get patterns, all right, or resources to get patterns. Today we're going to show you in this video exactly how you can make a pattern using free software that you can download online in a couple of minutes and take any photo, make that photo a pattern, and use it to wood carve. Just remember in this video, this software is going to make a pattern, but it's going to be a flat pattern that you could put on a board, all right, uh, or a sign, maybe, all right, and then you can actually use it to just relief carve. This isn't about 3D patterns yet. We're going to save that for the next video, all right. So hopefully we'll learn something today. If you liked yesterday's video, join me in this one. Let's get to it. Okay, this right here is a program called Inkscape and I'm going to show you guys how you can get it, where you can get it. It's absolutely free online. Uh, what you would do is go into Inkscape and open up a photo. Here's a photo right here I'm opening up of an eagle that I've carved. And once you have the, your photo in this program, the first step in making a, a pattern is to highlight it and then you're going to take the opacity down. Okay. Once you take the opacity down, you can make it bigger or smaller. Come over here to the Bezier tracing tool and make it nice and big so you can see it and just start drawing a line. What you do is you trace the lines in your pattern or in your photo. Okay. And then once you have a line, you can stretch this line. It's It works with uh, vector format. So you can stretch these lines. You can shrink them. You can make them longer you can rotate them you can do whatever you want all right you can draw another line on top of it like i'm doing here and then drag that down and once you learn how to use this program it's a blast you could have uh, any kind of photo you can trace all right it's just going to take you a little bit of time and there is a learning curve to it you know and this video is by all means not a full tutorial on inkscape i'm just showing you the program i use to make my own patterns all right one of the programs and this right here is a, a great place to start okay so you can go all around this photo and you can add or choose to trace exactly every everything in it all right but what i'm doing here is i'm just kind of making it my own even though it's my own carving all right i'm just uh drawing some lines that i think will look nice and then when you double click at the end, it'll show that line. Okay. And then you just kind of go around the, the photograph and you trace the lines that you want. And once you trace them, you can bend them. You can round them off. Okay. You connect them. You can unconnect them. It's really, really the best thing I found so far for making patterns. Okay. And it's free. So there's plenty of tutorials on Inkscape on YouTube. I recommend you get this program and I recommend that you master Inkscape. All right. I can do more videos on things and recommend them to you. But I really uh, I'm always doing my own work. So I'm not going to take the time to really go through a whole series of how to use Inkscape. Those are already online. There's plenty of them out there. But this right here is just to show you how I use it. Oh, my dog's acting up. Sorry about that. Sometimes I start doing a video and my dog wants to play and then I'm ignoring him and talking and he gets all upset. So <laughs> I had to put him in the other room. Anyway, this program right here, like I said, is probably the best way that I think uh, you could learn to make your own patterns and you could take any kind of photos. That's why I recommended in the first video. Take lots and lots of photos. If you have carvings, take them of uh, take pictures of those, and then you can make patterns for your carvings. Okay, and then make that same carving again. So this right here is one way I do it. And like I said, you can add feathers on this eagle. I could take feathers away. I could put all kinds of detail. There's all kinds of tools. I recommend looking up Inkscape tutorials. All right. And once you master this program, you'd be amazed at some of the things you can do just with this one program. All right. And once you do draw all your lines and everything, the great thing about this program also is 
you can click on the photograph and highlight everything and then move the picture from behind it. Okay, see how I'm bending these lines here? All right. And once you get so many of these lines in and stuff and you want to check what your pattern would look like, like I said, all you got to do is highlight the entire photo on the outside and then just drag it off the paper for a minute and you can see your pattern. And then it's real easy to just go up to edit and then undo that move and it'll go right back to where it was without not lining up or anything. It'll line up perfect. Okay. So that right there is the way I do this in this program. Now I did do this whole eagle. Okay, I did it ahead of time before the video. So I'm going to delete this one. I'm going to keep the picture there. And we'll go in and uh, take the other eagle of the drawing that I did make. I can find it here. Hold on a sec. And I'll bring that into the program and I'll show you how exactly they come out. Uh, I could make this darker or lighter also. Like I said, there's options and I can even show you how to color it. All right, so here's the eagle finished. And I mean, it, it took me maybe about 15, 20 minutes messing around, 15 minutes. And I'll put him on the paper. And like I said, he's a little bit different. I did a little bit of texturing to him. But he's pretty close to the original. Let me blow him up here so you can see him. And then once you do have your pattern, like I said, since it's a vector form, you can stretch it, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, fit it to a piece of paper, print it out, and you got your pattern. All right. You can also make these lines darker. All right. So that right there is how we do a pattern in Inkscape. Like I said, look up tutorials on this. You can do a lot more with this program. I'm just showing you some simple basics and what it's capable of. All right. And you can even take these patterns and I'll show you right here next. Once you, uh, let me adjust this here. You can actually color your pattern. Okay. You can actually use the tools to color your drawing in. And that's, I'm just using a simple uh, bucket fill here. If you ever use paint or Photoshop or anything like that, GIMP, it's the same type of thing. So I'm just going to go around and make him a little bit more interesting and color him in. And now I have a piece of clip art. That's pretty interesting. And it's a fun little program, like I said. I'll put a link in the description. You can go and you can download this for free. Like I said, it has nothing to do with uh, paying for it or anything. Most computers will run it. It's been a free program for years. I've always enjoyed it. And uh, if you want to make patterns, though, this is a must-have, I would say. And learn all the options you have. You kind of get into it once you start, you know, so I'm just playing. <laughs> it's those little squares one at a time that take, take up some time. But you see how easy it is to color, you know. And like I said, and then when you're done, you basically have a, a nice little picture that looks professionally done. I mean, you could make these lines really crisp and clean. I can make them a lot smaller. But for patterns, I, when I make them, I, I tended for the video to make them thicker here. And I also have the color of the, the lines. They're brown more than they are black. Okay, so that right there gives you a basic idea of the things that you can do in this program. Uh, the big thing about that is when you do finish your drawing, you are going to want to export it. And it's going to export as a ping, all right, which is a see-through file. And then you're going to have to put it into GIMP or something and make it a JPEG file so you can see your pattern. Okay. All right. So that's how you make a pattern out of any photograph. 
using Inkscape. I hope this video helped you guys. I uh, look forward to seeing you in the next video, and we'll discuss how to do a 3D pattern that we can put on a block of wood with a front view, a side view, and a back view. All right, and cut it out, and we can actually wood carve the pattern. Again, these patterns right here, you can put it on a block of wood and just carve straight down around it, a relief carving type of carving these are great for. They're also good for wood burning and projects like that. Or just coloring for the kids. Make a drawing, make a pattern, let the kids color it in, make coloring book pages for them. Okay, I hope this video helped you guys, like I said, and I will see you in the next video.